this song, man. There was this a time where, this, the where the song used to strike terror in my heart. Really? And look at you now. You like light I love our like like social media moments. report. Yeah, especially <laughs> when, when weeks are as interesting as they are at the moment. Let me kick off with some good news. Yes, we do. Some happy news, in awesome. fact. We'll have, we have to say congratulations to AKA and DJ Zinchley because they've welcomed their baby girl into the world. Oh, and he posted yeah, yesterday. Baby daddy. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? So he posted on Twitter oh, saying, we are proud to announce the arrival of our baby girl. Kiara Owes Forbes and Zinchle is doing well and he used he says blessed. Well, all the best to the Blessed well in done deep, aka and congrats. Congrats. Well. now the sleepless nights can start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> buddy. Um, no hope for you there, but no, she is absolutely gorgeous. We look forward to lots Very cute. of Very pictures cute. being tweeted. Please answer that call. Now, of course, we know um, Strictly has reached that kind of part of the season where the aches and pains and the strains start to kick in. Yes, well, it seems like Caroline van Jarsveld, she's one of them that's really struggling a little bit. She's got rib bruises, or at least um, she's got a lot of rib pain during uh, during last week's training. And she's been posting pictures on Instagram and sharing with viewers, obviously, how she's been being strapped up. And she says it is sore. So it really is sore. So hopefully, you know, that, that she'll be ready for Friday's show and hopefully the pain won't be able to, to hinder her progress. No, She's been doing really well. Yeah, she's been doing incredibly well. But I think what they have to take on board is that the pro dancers dance through broken bones, dance through torn muscles. Um, they, you have to man up as a celeb, but I know I can really testify to the fact that you do start to hurt. So well, I can we, we imagine, feel your yeah. pain, we empathize. Absolutely, Kelly. but you can imagine with all the lifts and the stuff, if your body's not used to that, I mean, it yeah. could be very, very sore. Yeah, so, you know, big up. So say, all what I get is here. All what I get is here. She's a pro, <laughs> she'll power through. Yeah, mm. and then lastly, Anna, if you wish to pay your respects to the passing of the Soul Brothers legend David Masondo. There will be some memorial services taking place in Johannesburg as well as in Masondo's hometown Hammersdale and a memorial service will be held today at, at the Museum Africa in Newton as well as at the Market Theatre today at noon and also a further memorial service will be held in Hammersdale KZN at the Mpumalanga uh, uh, College today at two o'clock. Oh, very sad passing there. Now I have to, to say I'm going to look at your face when I say this. Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to elicit the exact same response no matter who you ask it of. And it's not just the ladies out there, of course. Magic Mike XXL is the big movie release of the season. And can you believe Jonathan Boynton got to meet the cast and um, obviously to see how they got into shape for this movie and they are in incredible shape for the movie. Um, but of course to see some of the camaraderie behind the scenes and he's got a very special treat for everyone, not just the ladies tonight on <laughs> SABC3 at 7.30. Of course that's on top of billing this evening. Um, I, I, I know wonder, there are a lot of ladies out there thinking you throw Jonathan into that movie and it's perfect. I was about to say, I wonder if they taught him some moves. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, it's going to be awesome though. <laughs> All right, well, um, see as we're touching on the movies, time now to find out what is breaking in the box office ahead of a big movie weekend.